Chapter 30 On Asking the Divine Assistance and on Confidence of Recovering Grace My child, I am the Lord who gives strength on the day of distress. Come to me when all is not well with you. What hinders you most of all from receiving heavenly consolation is your slowness in turning to me in prayer. Before you pray earnestly to me, you first seek other comforts, trying to find distraction in outward things. Hence it is that all these things are of little benefit to you until you realize that I alone am the one who delivers those who trust in me. There is no effectual help, nor worthwhile counsel, nor lasting remedy. But now, having recovered your breath after the storm, gather your strength again in the light of my mercies, for I am near you to restore all, not only to their former state, but even to increase them abundantly and beyond measure. Is anything impossible for me? Am I like human beings who promise something and do not live up to it? Where is your faith? Stand firm and persevere. Have courage and wait patiently. Comfort will come to you when you most need it. Wait for me, wait, and I will come soon to help you. It is but a temptation that distresses you and a foolish fear that frightens you. This anxiety about future events brings you nothing but grief and more grief. Today has troubles enough of its own. It's a useless waste of time to worry or be elated about future events, which perhaps may never happen. But it is part of human nature to be deluded by the images of imagination and the sign of a soul that is still weak that you so easily follow the suggestions of your enemy, the devil, who does not care whether his deceits are true or false, or whether he trips you up with the love of things present or fear of things to come. Therefore, do not be distressed or fearful. Have confidence in me and trust in my mercy. When you think I am far away, I am often closest to you. When you think that almost all is lost, often a greater reward follows. All is not lost just because things go contrary to your wishes. Do not judge according to your present feelings, and do not take any trouble so much to heart that you lose all hope of being delivered from it. Do not think you have been completely abandoned because I have sent you some grief or if I withdraw from you the consolation you longed for, know that this is the way to the kingdom of heaven. No doubt, it is better for you and for the rest of my servants to be tested by adversity than always to have things go your own way. I know your most hidden thoughts and that it is necessary for your salvation that sometimes you be deprived of spiritual consolation lest you become too elated with success. And through pride, imagine yourself to be what you really are not. What I have given, I may take away and may restore it again when I please. When I have given something, it is still mine. When I take it away again, I take nothing that belongs to you because every good and perfect gift belongs to me. If I send you trouble or affliction, do not complain nor become depressed. Soon I may lift you up again and turn all your sorrow into joy. Know this, I am just and all praise is due me when I deal with you thus. If your thinking is straight and you see things as they really are, you will never allow trouble or adversity to depress you. Rather, you should be glad and give thanks, even considering it a joy that I do not spare you from sorrows. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you, I told my beloved disciples. Yet I sent them into the world not to have temporal joys, but to fight great battles, not to have honors, but to be despised, 
not to have ease, but to labor, not to rest, but to bring forth much fruit in patience. Remember these words, my child.